Hello everyone, my name is Evan Jacobs. Welcome to another edition, our weekly edition it seems to be, sometimes more, of Boxing Time TV. We have an interesting bout, Michael Conlon, Mick Conlon versus Sofian Takout. Um, I'm probably butchering his name. Um, either way, these two are supposed to be fighting August 15th. It's going to be in 13 days, so I kind of wanted to get this one in. Uh, Conlon's 28, uh, Takout's 34, Conlon is 5'8", uh, Takeout is 5'9". Um, Normally, Colin fights as a as a featherweight, uh, 126, but apparently he's going down to super bantamweight uh, to fight at 122 because apparently this the title that he would be fighting for was vacated, so he can fight um, Tech out for that belt. I don't really follow all that. I just sort of did a little bit of research before this bout. Um, Colin's reach is 69. Could not find a reach on on Tech out, so I I gave him the same reach as Colin. Um, Collins 13 and 0, uh, seven knockouts, and uh, Sofian Techout is 35 uh, has 35 victories and four mm. losses, only one of them by a uh, knockout. So this is a schedule for 12 rounds, three minute rounds, 10 point must scoring system, no mandatory eight count, three knockdown rule waived, and let's get it going. Um, this 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 bout is, um, I want to say Mick Conlon, um, it's his it's his first fight back, I believe. <coughs> since this whole coronavirus thing happened. I hope that everyone out there is keeping well. And there was a time, you know, when we first kind of all went into quarantine and we're all locking down, everyone was locking down. I was doing one of these a day. And then just, you know, things started back back up. Um, I uh, was on spring break at that time, re returned to work, and it just is not is not possible. This is a fight I think we're going to see personally, if I can give a prediction early, I think we're going to see a very workmanlike, um, performance from Conlon and Conlon should beat um, Sofian Tech out. Although neither one is a tremendously hard puncher, I think Conlon of the two hits uh, harder. Um, so we will uh, we will we will have to see as this uh, progresses. Um, and right now Conlon getting Tech out in the corner. Tech out's only he's only been stopped once, and uh, I knew the fighter who stopped him. Um, I just I just cannot remember his name. Um, hold on one second. Oh, wow, wow. I say that and he wobbles him and he hurts him. Oh, my gosh. That's just my thing. I say that and he hurts Tech out already. Goes in, blasts him to the canvas already. Um, I, I, I would, I'm going to be surprised if this keeps up like this. Wow, I did not expect Mick Conlon to come out and explode like that. But, hey, you know what? He has been off. Here I am settling in. And, and this is... I still think this is going to go the distance. I think now we're going to see a more defensive mind to tech out. I could be, I could be wrong, um, but that was a tremendous way to begin the bout for uh, Michael Michael Conlon, um, and um, yeah, uh, Michael Conlon's last bout was in December. He was uh, defending. Uh, he he was avenging a loss to uh, Vladimir Nit Nick Nikitin, and uh, yeah. So um, you know, looking at the looking at the record, um, victories over the likes of Jason Cunningham. This is uh, Mick Mick Conlon. Um, he you know the um, who who else? Uh, Diego Alberto Ruiz. Some of the names I kind of know. Um, and then Sofia Antekout has a broader record. Uh, the person who stopped him in two rounds was Josh Warrington, and he doesn't seem like apparently he'd been on like a like a win streak. Six, I think a six or eight fight win win streak. And Warrington sapped that. Coleman seems to be well on target to be to be doing that now. We'll see if we'll see if this continues. As I'm sure that Sofian Techout was not expecting to be bludgeoned to the canvas the way that he was by Mick Coleman. Mick Coleman, you know, obviously up and coming guy, rising guy, and you know, is uh, is is certainly a fan favorite. It's a big Irish following. Collins breathing heavy, Tech out's breathing heavy. Collins gets that 10-8 on one judge's scorecard, 10-7 on another judge's scorecard, 10-8 on the other. So Collins is already seven points ahead. He is, I mean, yeah. Oh wow, but we come out and Tech out's coming and he's coming to fight. He's coming to fight and he's and he and he cracks Mick Collins to the head and body. We'll see if this continues. Um, other bouts for Sophia and Tech out are um, I'm looking. Uh, other than Josh Warrington, none of the names really kind of jump jump out at me. But you know, I will admit, and, and this is a bias I think amongst fight fight fans, 
we uh, kind of ignore or don't really pay the kind of attention that we should to the lower weight fighters. It's just one of those things, and and we and we really really should because they do have a lot to offer. Tough guys. You often get a lot more competitive fights, and oftentimes, you know, like like yesterday, and I did this fight on Boxing Time TV. You had um, Sir, Sir um, Sweet Rung VC versus I'm Not Ruin Wrong, and I'm butchering those names, but that's a fight that we did here on Boxing Time TV, and they had it yesterday, and my fight went a little bit differently, although same winner in uh, both uh, both uh, instances. So right now, uh, Sofian Conlon trying to kind of keep Mick Conlon off of him. We'll see if he's able to uh, to uh, do that. Um, and once again, you are watching Boxing Time TV. My name is Evan Jacobs. If you like what you're seeing here, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links with your family and friends. Direct message me. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if there's bouts that you want to see. I do at least one of these a week, uh, sometimes more, like I was saying in the beginning. Um, I hope everyone... Uh, who's listening and you know everything as far as your COVID situation is going okay um, you know it's uh, it's one of those things you know where are we with it are we better off than we were a few months ago I think maybe we have some more knowledge but you know it's just it's just it's just one of those things it's it's one of those things that that I'm hoping in the next five to six months we're at a place with it where we're sort of looking back on it there is a vaccine that maybe not everyone's going to take, but maybe enough people will take that will sort of head this thing off. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, wow. And Sophia is punching back now. He is trying to stay in this fight. He does not want to let Mick Conlon steamroll him. And, and Sophia and Tech Out, when he gets that distance, seems to be able to do good work here. Mick Conlon would love to make this more of an inside fight. But, you know, Sophia and Tech Out is, is you know, he has 34 victories. Tough, tough guy. Only stopped once. So this is a good test for Mick Conlon as we come to the final seconds of this, the second round. All right. Mick Conlon taking that round on two of the judges' cards. One judge giving it to Tech Out. Is Tech Out starting to build a case? Hey, remember, you know, we all saw and um, uh, Marco Antonio Barrera, not Marco Antonio Barrera, Juan Manuel Marquez get dropped three times by Manny Pacquiao and fight his way to a draw. And, you know, Tech Out does have boxing skills. He has a lot of fights. So, you know, he, let's see, can his ring generalship carry him? What he should not be doing is what he's doing right now, and that's trading with uh, Mick, Mick Conlon. Uh, but, you know, we'll see if, if Tech Out kind of can get more of a distance. Right now, Conlon's able to find him. And Conlon is up by eight points. So, you know, you have Sophia on Tech Out has a lot of ground to make up after that, you know, first round where, you know, Mick Conlon came out and just did what he had to do. I'm listening to this podcast, the Sports Illustrated pod, podcast with Chris Mannix. And um, at least I'm going to double check. I think that's his name. And um, he was talking to Lou DiBella, the promoter. And um, if you find that you have an interest in boxing, and I mean, hopefully you obviously do if you're watching this, this computer simulation with an old 80s video game, which I think is the best boxing video game ever made. But um, if you... Um, if you care about boxing, if you want to know what's going on in boxing, if you want to stay up on boxing, honestly, this podcast kind of just gets it all and does it and does it really, really well. And like, I'm, I, I feel as up on boxing as I've, as I've, you know, been in a long time. I mean, I think when I was younger and I was able to follow it more, it was a lot easier to keep up on. But, um, now it, oh, wow. I'm telling you, Mick Conlon is dropping his left hand and Sophie on tech out. If he hit harder, could maybe do more. And now you have Mick Conlon landing. You know, he, he, he knows, he knows he's in there against a live guy. He, and, 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 you know, there's two things at work here. You have Mick Conlon, young up and coming guy, you know, just wants to bash and, 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 you know, has really wants to take out Sophie on tech out, kind of show that, Hey, that, that, you know, big records aside, he can do what Josh Warrington did. However, 
Sophie on tech out has also shown I can take your shots and I can get back up. And can Sophie on tech out now kind of work his way back into the ring? That's the thing I love about boxing is there's so many things afoot at all times. Even if you're totally dominating a fight, you can be obliterated. And that's one other thing I love about this game, Sierra Championship Boxing from 1982 or 1983. It is clearly one of those games that... Um, yeah, it, it, it is built that way. It, it, it's programmed that way. So let's see if uh, people, you know, let's let's just see what people think of this. We're coming into the final second. I think it was more even. And I think you could make a case in part, you know, for Sofian to potentially have won this round. Oh, so they're saying tech out's tired. Okay, so one judge giving it to Conlon. Another judge giving it to Conlon. Another judge giving it to Conlon. Okay, okay. So, we move in now. Um, Conlon is now up by 11 points and he's having a very good performance against a live guy, you know, fighting well, taking shots, figuring things out, making adjustments. We'll see if that continues here in the fourth round. Some upcoming fights that we're going to be doing on Boxing Time TV. Uh, the recently announced Errol Spence um, um, Danny Garcia bout that is going to be I think that's the next bout that we're doing that's on uh, November 21st also don't forget we have the Charlo brothers they're, they're doing I believe a pay-per-view on the same day so that should be really really interesting I once did something like that years ago I scalped my way in to Julio Cesar Chavez versus Meldrick Taylor 2 and I was there from the beginning and as I walked in um, I want to say um, Gianfranco Rossi was knocked out by, hold on, I'm going to find out who he was knocked out by. Um, gonna, I'm going to look that up. But I remember walking, because Gianfranco Rossi was, was a, um, you know, he was, you know, just a giant to me, just, just, just in the sense of, um, he uh, fought Darren Van Horn. He wasn't supposed to beat Darren Darren Van Horn, and he beat him. And then I, he just had, and then he held the title for a bit. Had a, had an interesting career. Um, uh, one second, here. Let me see. Let me see about his career. Yeah, he fought Darren Van Horn to win the IBF title. He beats Rene Jacot. He beats Ron Edmondson, Glenn Wolf. Uh, Gilbert Baptiste, Alfredo Ramirez, Angel Hernandez. So I'm saying he defended the title a lot. Gilbert Delay. Delay would go on to lose to Vinny Pazienza. Um, he then fought to a draw with Vincent Petway. Vincent Petway, that's the guy. Petway knocked him out. And then Petway won the belt. And I want to say Petway lost the belt to Simon Brown. Or was it Paul? Yes, it was uh, Simon Brown. So, yeah, I mean, just, just, yeah. But then I was in there for the whole day. And the way that they did it was there was no break from the undercard to the main card. So, well, no, no, there was a break. So I watched four fights. It was like a mega card, you know, put on by Don King. And then I remember sleeping in my seat for, um, for like an hour or so. And then I woke up and that's when I watched like the rest of the fights. And it was just awesome. And, you know, I, I had harbored this dream that Meldrick Taylor was going to put it together one more time. And apparently he was doing okay against Chavez, but Chavez ultimately, I think, knocked him out in like the ninth round. Went off on a tangent there. Um, so Tekon has a bruised rib, but they have him taking that round from Mick Conlon. So is Tekon working his way back, back into this? Now Tekot's only down by eight points. We're going into the fifth round. Folks, we have a very interesting fight here. If Sofian Tekot can keep this going, but he has a bruised rib. He's going to have to, he's going to, have to guard that because Mick Conlon's going to be coming for him. Mick Conlon is perpetual motion. He's going to keep coming. And so it should be um, very, very interesting um, as this fight unfurls in front of us. And now Mick Conlon having him against the ropes, but he's not letting his hands go. And that's the thing. If he doesn't let his hands go, you know, so, oh, but now, but, but now I say that, and then he does. That's the one thing about boxing. Every time I kind of go one direction or, or in one way, it, 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 it switches up on me and goes another.
Oh, and Sophia and Sophia, Sophia and Tech out hitting him and, and hurting him and Oh, and punching him into the ropes. So we will we will see. Can can Mick Conlon continue this? Sophia and Tech out would, you know, you know, is is and I'm probably I'm obviously saying his name totally wrong, and I totally apologize to Sophia. If if anyone listening to this knows how to, I'm, I'm I'm sure you could tell me. Tell me in the comments how to say it. Um, but now Mick Conlon going and going to the body and really kind of sapping what was starting to be somewhat of a oh 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 wow oh wow and he hasn't wobbled. Um, Mick Conlon um, sapping what was kind of a rally from Sophie on Techout. That was you know hey you saw Sophie on Techout kind of be out of this fight and then punch his way back into it in the fourth. But you know has a bruised rib to uh, show for it. And Mick Conlon punching Sophie on tech out into the ropes, landing using good head movement, good, uh, good, you know. And, and now he's 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 doing the things that, that he wanted to do. And I mean, when this fight happens, should it go this way, the fans are just going to be loving it. And um, tech out's taking these shots. He, it, you know, he's 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 slowing down considerably. And we'll see what happens as this fight progresses. If it's if it's something you know it, you know Ken Sophia I, I personally believe that we're going to a decision um, I could be wrong the fights kind of usually sort of settle into a pattern like that I've noticed after a while but you know and I, I mean I, I've seen some back and forth brawls on this I've seen fights where guys are totally uh, totally ahead on this you know in this simulation and boom they get hit so check out is you know if he hit harder can maybe use that. To his advantage, but he's tired. He has a bruised rib. Mick Conlon winning that round 10 8 on one judge's scorecard, 10 8 on another judge's scorecard, and 10 8 on another judge's scorecard. So this is becoming a, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not, it's not, uh, looking too good. Oh, and Mick Conlon landing with a right hand. And Sophie on tech out, just just punching him back, just just landing. And, and I'm saying this is what Mick Conlon wants. He wants him to stand with him in the center of the ring. I'm 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 telling you, Sophie on tech out. It's it's you know he he can't work well against the ropes. You have Conlon on him, center of the ring. Conlon's pot shotting him and taking him out. And you know it's it's this you know you have Conlon, both of them are trading now. But I, I I just think Mick Conlon doesn't think that Sophie on tech out can hurt him, which is never a good way to think. Because ask, just ask Doug DeWitt versus Stevie Collins. Doug DeWitt gets knocked out. And he even said it. Oh, he's all, I didn't think the guy could crack an egg. Saw some good boxing. Uh, saw Daniel Dubois last, last week. Um, I forget the name of his opponent. Um, I enjoyed uh, Dex Spellman's recent decision victory over. Um, okay, wait, no, don't help me. Um, um, Spellman, no, 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 no. Um, Artur Linden's victory over Dex Spellman. Sorry, I totally, I totally have that wrong. And once again, my name is Evan Jacobs. If you like what you're seeing here. On Boxing Time TV, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links. Please share these links with family and friend. Please, please let people know. Um, I, I just want to kind of push this out, make this, make this a uh, bigger, bigger thing. A, uh, you know, just, just, yeah, that's my goal with Boxing Time TV. Um, and um, if, if, if you want, give me a follow on Instagram. My handle is Boxing Time with Evan. It's, it's something that I, that I update. I try to update every day or, you know, it gets updated almost every day. And I, I push a lot of these fights that are coming on there. I also try to keep up with the boxing news. Just give you a real quick kind of dose of it. Um, you know, and then you can obviously either go in depth. There's a lot of people that cover this and do this much better than me. I just, you know, I, I, I just... I love the sport. I feel that I have something to offer in terms of just following it. And, you know, we'll see. But I'm telling you, listen to the Sports Illustrated 
podcast with Chris Mannix. It is awesome. And um, it is, it really is just well done and it's comprehensive. And it's, you know, they have, they seemingly have money behind it in, in such a way that they can cover this sport. And it's just a really well done podcast. All right. So another round in the banks. And um, Conlon is uh, breathing heavy. Checkout's very tired. He losing the round 10 8, 10 8, and 10 8 on two of the judges' cards. So Sophie on checkout is hopelessly behind. He's behind by 20 points right now. Um, he might even, he probably even needs a knockout to win, I would think. Um, or at least a bunch of knockdowns. We'll see. I just don't see that happening. He doesn't really have the power for it. And Mick Conlon just kind of, you know, you know, punching Tech out a bit, trying to move him into the ropes. Wants to sort of stay out of those, you know, the range of the shots. And, and Conlon, you know, maybe he knows, maybe he doesn't know, this, should be going to the body because he's hurting him to the body. And he just did right there. And, you know, like I said, we have six more rounds to go. I think this fight's settling into a pattern. I, th I think Tech out's a tough guy. And I think he's going to hang on. I mean, I think, oh, wow, oh, wow, he's wobbled here. Right as usual, right as I right as I say that. Oh, and I'm telling you, Mick Collins just got him on the ropes. And Sophia on tech out, just, you know, just, oh, and taking shots to the body. And and this is the kind of thing that, you know, that they, you know, in 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 real life, they would consider probably stopping. It's just because tech out's reaching a point where he's just going to be taking a prolonged, prolonged beating. And he's a good enough fighter that he can hang in there for that. And, and right now you have Mick Conlon that's just target practice. Um, if I'm him and if he knows that his opponent's hurt, he should just, you know, try to just go to the body and finish it up that way. We'll see. We will see, folks. Oh, and Collins is continuing to go upstairs. Well, something really interesting on that Chris Mannix podcast this week. I mean, it's always interesting, but this week he had Lou DiBella on. And DiBella just sort of breaks down sort of the state of boxing, what's going, what's going on in boxing, um, you know, just the money being spent in boxing, how boxing is dealing with COVID. It's all really, really interesting. And it's the kind of thing that is certainly worth a listen. If you, you know, if you just like knowing the in and out, I could listen to boxing business talk all day. To me, it's fascinating. And it actually got me thinking that I should start a sanctioning body and do it differently than all the others. One champion, um, male, you know, you have the male fights and the female fights. Um, one champion, um, continue to keep all the current divisions. Um, don't charge any sanctioning fees. Just give the belts and just follow the rankings. Once again, Mick Conlon. Winning that round on all judges' scorecards, 10-8. As we go into the eighth round right now, Mick Conlon just pulling a route on Sofian Tekau. I'm going to run downstairs and get, a, and get some water. I'll be right back.
right, and sorry, I just had to get a little bit of hydration going. Uh, it's one of those things, very, it's very, very important to me. And I'm looking for my coaster. Oh, that's not my coaster. Just trying to find this. Sorry, I will get back to fully giving my, all of my attention to this bout. Um, and Colin going to the body of checkout again. Um, Hitting him, hitting him hard upstairs. Um, and basically, this is just looking like a carbon copy of what we've seen in the other rounds. The Colin seeming to be going for the knockout now. And, you know, he's going to the body. Um, you know, and that, th this is the thing. Is that Tech Out is, Sophie on Tech Out gave a valiant effort, tried, just is being outclassed by Mick Colin. So, as I said, I think we're going to see the 12th round, but that's just me sort of knowing this game. We'll see if that turns to turns out to be uh, true. All right. Okay. Sorry, I'm making a grocery list as I uh, do this. Hey, I run a very sloppy podcast. If you've been following it, you know I talk just about everything. And when these fights get to be like this, 10-7, 10-7, 10-8, all for Mick Conlon, and he's just pulling a route. I don't want to say that I lose interest, but, I, but I'm honest about where we are in the fight. I'm not going to pretend, oh, we're seeing some, we're seeing a great performance by Mick Conlon. We're seeing Sophie Antec out in survival mode, and he's doing the best that he can doing that. Do, is there a ton more that I need to say? I mean, that's, the, I can honestly see the fight becoming like this in real life. Going up to the body, I'm um, sorry, going up to the head is Mick Conlon. All right, okay, hold on one second, I'm gonna be right back. And now you have Colin just tattooing in his throat. Getting in or out of his Common continuing to beat up on Sophie on tech out. So we're going to check out kind of, is he staging a mini rally? Does he think that Mick Conlon is kind of tired? I'm telling you, so we're going to check out slowly coming back into this fight, maybe in the ninth round. We will have to see, folks.
All right, he says, calm and breathing heavy. Check out, he's very tired and has a broken rib. So now, and he also took that round 10-8, 10-8, 10-8 on all three of the judges' scorecard. Um, well, you know, right now, Mick Conlon, Sophie on tech out has a broken rib. They could stop this. Um, although, sometimes in this game, stoppages don't come as they should. So, we will we will see. Once again, I still think we're going to see a decision, which is fine. Uh, you have Mick Conlon just punching his way to victory over Sophie on tech out. And... We'll just kind of continue with this as we uh, continue with it. And Colin just cornering him against the ropes. You know, they really, you know, they should stop this in the game. I mean, look at this. Do we need to see it? Hey, stop the fight, computer. Um, once again, like I've been saying, you are watching Boxing Time TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, you know, as, as we've discussed, you know, there's, there's, you know, there's going to be some upcoming fights. Danny Garcia versus uh, Errol Spence, which is interesting. I think Spence wins it. But the question is, what kind of Spence are we going to see? And, I mean, this is a really tough fight for Errol Spence, simply because he hasn't fought since that since that accident. And, I mean, to, to come back to fight, to come back and fighting anybody would have been like, okay, what do you got? But to come back against Danny Garcia, you know, Danny Garcia is still formidable in many, in many, many ways. And um, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting to see if um if if you know if if Errol Spence you know is is up to the test how how however you know um you know and and you know Danny Garcia only has two losses one to Keith Thurman one to Sean Porter so you really can't hold that against him bout with Errol Spence Errol Spence's first bout back um and you have Danny Garcia Danny Garcia fought has fought in 2020 against Ivan Red Redcatch so it is interesting, um, I it, and, and so that's why I'm like, okay, okay, that's you know, hey, the PBC, you know, that's a solid fight. Um, we're just gonna, I guess, have to see. So Colin's breathing heavy. Um, Sophia on took out, a very tired, has a broken rib, losing this round, losing that round, 10-7, 10-7, 10-7, on all three judges' scorecards. Um, Mick Collin is ahead. 49 points, folks. So there's, it'd be almost impossible, short of Mick Collin being knocked out, which I don't really see that happening, um, for uh, Sophia and Tech out to um, to uh, win this win this fight. Oh, they stopped the fight. Tech out's in pain. Well, folks, you've seen it here. Uh, Mick Collin getting a TKO 11 over Sophia and Tech out. He broke his rib. The winner's Mick Conlon by TKO. The fight lasted 11 rounds. Conlon was not knocked down. Checkout was knocked down one time and has a broken rib. Final scorecards are 92, no, I'm sorry, 99-82, 99-81, and 98-84. Thank you so much for tuning in to Boxing Time TV. If you like what you've seen here, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links. Um, give me a follow on Instagram, Boxing Time with, with Evan. Thank you so much. And once again, this fight is going to be happening on August 15th. Boxing Time TV, our motto is why wait, watch it now, then watch the real thing when it airs.